Hello and welcome back to the Perfect Academy and to Shrove Tuesday. And as a special treat, we're going to make some pancakes. It's going to take no more than a couple of minutes to do. And to make these pancakes, it's very simple. Uh, we'll start off with some plain flour. I've got six ounces there, which is about 175 grams. And I've got three eggs. And an egg weighs two ounces, so it's the same weight of flour and eggs together. Um, and then I've got 15 fluid ounces of milk. So it's those three ingredients together, the eggs, flour and milk, that will produce a pancake. You can enrich those pancakes if you like, and we're going to do that today. We're going to add a tiny bit of butter to it. By doing that, what it means essentially is that when we cook them, there'll be a slightly golden colour on the, on the bottom. So it just it adds a little bit more richness to it. And this is supposed to be a celebration of rich foods. And then just because I can't resist it, we'll be adding a drop of vanilla extract to that as well to give it a bit more of a, uh, a sweet flavour. So those are our key ingredients. Okay, so we're just going to start by mixing these ingredients together. I've already sifted the flour. Now, people do this in various ways, but um, I prefer to put the eggs in with the dry ingredients. Okay, as you can see, a large dough ball has formed there, and we're just going to slowly add milk to this as we go. So just a small bit to start with. Mix it in nice and slowly. Now, as you can see, the batter mix there should be just the same consistency as single cream. I'm going to add a capful of vanilla extract to that, just to give it a bit of a background flavour, but not to be too predominant. And then just to finish that off slightly, to give us a lovely gold pan um, pancake, we're going to add a little bit of melted butter into there, and just mix that in. Okay, so our batter's been resting now for about 20 minutes, which means all the starches and glutens have been released, so that when we cook this pancake, it's not going to shrink and it's not going to get tough. Um, and just a couple of things about the pan before we go. Um, I've used, I've had this pan for uh, over 20 years, and um, it's great. A good, solid, flat base to it, that's the important part. You need to get the pan warm itself, okay? So it's not just about the heat from the bottom, but it's about getting the whole pan warm. Um, and you should be able to put your hand over that and just feel that temperature that nicely. Now, you can use vegetable oil if you want to, um, to wash the bottom of this with. Um, I'm going to use butter because this is um, about celebration of food. And then to this we're going to add um, some of the batter mix. Now you need to judge this by eye. This is a pancake and not a crepe. So pancakes are slightly thicker than crepes. So I'm going to add about one and a half of my ladles into this pan. Just allow that to settle for a moment and then slowly move it around the pan, nice and evenly, until that mixture spreads out. Okay, so again, we're back to our signs. The mixture's gone and the pancake has moved away from the edge. Now it is traditional to toss a pancake, as we know, so I'll give that a go for you. Managed. Okay, so we're now ready to finish off. Our mixture has made us 12 pancakes. We just need a generous spoonful of granulated sugar. Now, I always use granulated because I think that that texture that it gives you is so much nicer than a refined sugar. Um, and then to that, we're going to add some lemon juice. And then we're going to roll our pancake. And we're done. 